for spirit stuff. Rip the chrono, but scout out puppy, and they will manage to get the dust on him. Nightmare him up, surround the poor puppy man, and beat him down before the dust expires. That'll be a free first blood for Roger. Yeah, definitely a nice start for the. I have the bounty hunter sap top lane. This is where we sort of left off dry. So he's still not having a great landing stage, but I guess that's the uh, the price they're paying. The roll comes in, kick into the tier 1 tower. Tame My Wild's gonna take a lot of damage. Fairy Fire pops, but Tame My Wild easily stays alive. Do you think uh, the Earth Spirit's time would be better spent pressuring Ferev, or do you just kind of like leave Shotula out there and say, survive as long as he clearly he won't be able to make an early rotation up the top or anything like that? Uh, and if he, you know, forbid, he gets shut down a little bit. Oop, Tether gets Pylite Dice in distance, but a nice double kick will be able to nail and finish off Pylite Die. MP even takes a couple of shots as he retreats as well. They're starting to get zoned out pretty hard, so only the brown boots right now. 14 CS on both him and mid one. So, Zach's gonna have to get really farmed as he does get the solo kill, so. Yeah, there's the Vanguard and making it work. But it hasn't managed to pick up a kill just yet. And it's going to try and rotate bottom. shotchel has got the Chronosphere ready to go. Tame my wild. He has an ult of his own. But can they actually take down the tanky axe? They need a little bit of extra help. Vanscore is going to be here with a pure damage. They've got the ultimate ready to go. Ferev stuck inside the trees, but gets a little bit of a spin up against the flip side heroes. That's just trying to kite this hero as best as possible. Holding on to the disables to make sure there is no chance at a TP out. Shotchel brought low, but not low enough for a chop. And the axe will eventually go down. I even have to use old actually, so still has that for any possible turnaround stop. Yeah, and so all they use is the chronosphere, and that's kind of. Ex I mean, you want to use the chronosphere as early as possible. This does leave Seedoy a little bit high and dry. The Bane isn't here to be able to save him, so Secret immediately try and get aggressive on him. Roger fails to get the turnaround kill onto Puppy, and it looks like he'll still die as well. Unable to have a roll for a few more seconds, and MP's just too fast with the tether to play ring around the road. Barely gets back to the fountain. A rotation fails this time around from Flipside. Yeah, it's a pretty massive misplay from Roger right there. Not saving the kick, or at least using the stun uh, instead of just the normal kick. So, um, costing them that kill, and that's all their ults used, well, except, for the, oh. except for the Chrono. So. MP, that wasn't the right click he wanted to go for. Chronosphere just came back up, though they will make short work of MP this time around. A little bit of aggression at top lane gets highlight die caught. A little bit more breathing room, not quite so much as absolutely need to death ball. They have a little bit better of a scaling mid to quap. Um, here they oh. is. They almost caught him. The Shuriken's not going to go out in time. Looks like Pylite Dai will still manage to finish off the kill, though. They get Seedoy, but they're going to lose their two supports forward after a couple of rotations from Flipside. Yeah, they're really focusing on... Uh... Now, obviously, the, the beginning of the lane was quite tough, but now he's got better sustain thanks to a um, little bit of feast and some damage as well as the infest, I guess, to be able to get back. Bounty Hunter finds a kill on Roger. Was that even... Yeah, it was a Sunstrike use, so... That was a combination I, I, I kill, think he, but... I think he missed the Sunstrike. He was fighting with the Forge Spirit, and the Sunstrike oh, really? whipped a little bit. Forge Spirit got a mole off for a couple of first him. I'm surprised Puppy was able to do the kill alone. He will be caught, though, by Tame My Wounds, who does manage to get the successful dust. Side, they only have the Chrono, him jumping in, and the Blink Axe call, so I think it's definitely a little scary right now. The TP comes in, and Ferev instantly goes for the call, it's stalled up by the Chronosphere, as well as a Fiend's Grip, but the damage they're outputting may not be enough. Ferev finally brought low by the pure damage combination of the Bane and the Queen of Pain. Puppy's gonna wrap around, though. He's going for Seedoid. They have the invest pop out. That's gonna be your first of bounty kills. One for one trade-off on course. Tame My Wild goes down to the right clicks of mid one. He gets enough. He's taking a lot of right click damage from the Void as well as his damage over time from the Earth Spirit and will eventually fall because of that. Roger continues and gets a nice kick out. A lot of damage on the Puppy as well. They see him too. The vision's out. The dust popped on him and they managed to get a third kill. Vanscore picks up the make a kill streak. MP's just hoping to be able to even out the score though. Get the support kill of Roger who unfortunately has absolutely no mana and only one stone to his name. So he goes ahead, calls it quits. A three for three. Almost. Tame my wild. Blinks himself away. Nice reactions from him. Once again, he's been doing okay all series long. It looks like they're going to be able to find Puppy. The relocate is coming in, though. They're going to try and fight this one out. Tame my wild has the blink up. Oh, and a fiend's grip. That's going to be stopped out by Ferev, but he's immediately pushed back with a silence. A double stun goes down, buying Vance for space to stay ahead of Ferev. No killing blade today. Ferev is just going to be kited around by Seedoy, who is now having to deal with the full snap.
all their kiting abilities. It's definitely how they need to play these fights, because if they get heroes bursted during the axe call, there's not really much they can do to take them the fight from there. Kick away, MP pops the range, turns, it's still going for Roger, but he's already down low with the corner tears up. Oh no, Tame My Wild actually jumps into that one. He's got the ultimate though, it looks like Puppy as well as the Life Shield are both very dead. So Tame My Wild goes for a little bit more. He is going to be called up by the Axe though, maybe he's linked too far. The team trying to help him out, nice sleep, dodge a little bit of damage, and now they continue to kite Forever. A big dude comes out, misses Pylai's eye, but it doesn't matter, they get that kill anyway. Forever is bought down, half HP, hoping to be able to get the shot slow for his after way, money will get the pulling blade, and now it's just left up to mid one fighting up against Team by Wild, who mans up, goes for this kill, will just barely be able to get it, but dies for the Forge Spirits in return. Mid one picks up the triple, but again, and just farming the jungle. Um, I think reload. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Poor Roger <laughs> doesn't make it out. He's just praying that the Roshan will take the kill. The sleep goes down, dodging Sunstrike, but Lifestealer will still take the kill in the end. So, yeah, I'm trying to sneak that one in. Team My Wild is tracked up, but hasn't made its way into the Roshan pitch yet, just yet. In fact, he's going to jump forward, but he's right for the trap of the Rev and MP. Get a Queen of Pain kill, and it now looks like Flipside's attempt really falls off because she's so squishy that if you're not ahead, then you get caught one time by one disabled, you just evaporate. And it'll be like that for the rest of the game, most probably. They've been spotted. Roger, he's going to have to make a roll out of here. Turns around, goes for the kick. It looks like Vanscorn may be caught. Rev managed to get a call onto him. Roger does go down. Rev, though, is going to be caught playing the price, though, for trying to catch that extra kill. Silence up. Uh-oh, looks like poor MP. He may be going down. And after armor talk a little bit, does manage to get the rage off. Sleep goes down. Buying Tame by Wild a second or two. Sunstrike will land on him, taking a good amount of damage, but he still managed to blink away from the engagement secret. Bouncing around, it's going to be up to mid one to try and change this one. As you can see, a third hero is going to go down the chronosphere, catching Puppy, but they're going to get the Roshan in the end, so really nice exchange for Flipside. Yeah, you have to wonder if, um, first of all, if Vanscore didn't have a fear. Um, where Storm has, like, ball lightning that allows him to scale really well into the late game, um, and still do damage because of overcharge. Whoa, Ferev uh, tries to make this initiation by himself, the sleep goes down on Tame on Wild, and now the Fiend Script on to Ferev. Solo to YOLO play from Ferev does not pay out any dividends as it just gives away a free kill to Vanscore, who's now on a monster kill streak. Gee, Jesus. If somebody's out of the meta, he's doing quite well for himself. Gus isn't actually going to catch the relocating heroes, though mid one actually jumps forward to catch Roger, seeing if he can get the extra kill because they know they have the Draw Ranger dead. That is just the Aegis, though, and Secret know that the rest of Flipside are on their way. Gonna be Shotslow trying to lead the way with his blink dagger and a time walk to catch the corners here, and he does oh, get an MP. He's gonna be the target. Puppy walks into it as well. They manage to get the orchid onto MP, ensuring his death. Puppy still trying to make his way out though, but with a gem in hands, and now the disable to keep Puppy in place. They easily claim a third kill. A pickoff on Axe. Drow still full HP. Gonna be harder to go. Oh, oh. actually goes out. Looks like they caught Puppy. They did not manage to get Rev though. He still managed to blink forward, but it doesn't matter. And now MP pops out, but it's straight to the Fiend Script. Vanscore once again in masterful position of this game will manage to counter Team Secret's aggression. Two of the cores down, one of them has buyback. MP goes up though, and this may be Flipside taking a late range of racks. We're gonna see Flipside actually trying to retreat now after the buyback of Rev. He managed to get the call on Roger. Doesn't get the calling blade this time around. They get one support, but they need a whole lot more. Cedoy, he's done at the side! He managed to get the Gold Scepter, and that's going to be a draw Ranger. A big pickoff if it was just Roger. For the buyback on Forev, that would have been well worth it. For he's still going to try and fight this one. He's got some backup coming in. He baits a little bit. Now the relocate in. Forev goes for the call, misses out. Now he's working it up. Unable to stop Roger from retreating. Tame My Wild takes a good amount of magic damage. Looks like Roger's still going to be the pick, though. Secret. Somehow, mid one, a little bit, a little bit slow. Mm, it was also more on the defensive Roger. side, not so yeah, deep in. Oh, the call comes out, they're gonna go straight for Cedoy, but a Chronosphere is here, blocking down two, two cores, but can they actually keep Cedoy alive? They managed to get the Orchid out, preventing the pulling blade, but MP still gets the damage. Nice tornado coming up through, it's gonna be able to land a huge meteor onto the Bane, as well as the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain blinks out, but Roger is left at the tail end of that damage, will still go down, a relocate forward, but Shotslow, thanks to his mobility of Blink and Time Walk, will get away until Midwan says hello. He's got the Old Scepter, Cold Snap, preventing the Time Walk away for a second, 
He still gets the distance, but Secret just keep on trucking on through. They tank the Tier 3 tower. Be damned. They go for a jump away, but it's still the Shuriken falls through. Midwan claims that kill and jumps for even more. Tame my wild right in front of his fountain, though. He'll fight Midwan. That Orchid still, though. Secret come out big. They're going to be able to get the Tier 3 tower. Nobody's going to be back up for another 10 seconds. And still another 20 left on the throw Ranger. And even then, they'd have to buy back on the Faceless Void. 15 seconds to have their full five-man crew up to contest this push. It's looking like Secret will get the lane of wrath. Yeah, when the Draw Ranger falls, they really just don't have that much damage. The Quap only having her spells, and they all have high enough HP counts where they can't get first down by just the spells anymore, so... No real damage inside the Chrono. Melee racks and Secret sticking around too long. They've got the range as well. And at bottom, but flip side, they do seem kind of aware of the potential jump here. Zedoink pops his Manta. That's just going to be more targets for Fered. He does not have the Life Stealer inside of him, it looks like. Zedoink pops the BKB and now turns with the Team Script and kills Fered farther down. Pops out, but straight into the corner. So here he goes. MP, a bad time to leave. And now he's going to be caught by yet another ult. And now the Yule Scepter on Highlight Die stops the relocate as he attempted to save MP. Flipside will get a third kill. Secret, we're so close to being able to close out this game potentially, but now they've given fresh life to Flipside. Yeah, Rev just going a little too Flipside, get with the story. You know Midwan. After a fight is over like that, nobody's safe. If Midwan's still alive, you guys break apart. He's always gonna go for one of those extra picks. Midwan's gonna go run straight into the Tame My Wild and immediately pops out the Forge Spears, unable to get a full snap down in time. He gets working at first, but now the call comes down. Colin Blade sure to come in for the Silence first, and they will get the Queen of Pain, but not the extra movement speed to be able to save the Invoker. Varev is eventually beaten to a pulp as Zedoy comes in with the Manta, but it costs them two kills already. Uh, whenever you do that, because then you have the Roshan, so it's not like you're in danger of dying and them having this weight condition anymore. And uh, you don't want Flipside to take him because that is one of their only routes back into this game is getting the Roshan. So you can't jump the Drow anymore, and Tinkered sort of have a um, don't have a way to initiate these fights. But with the Aegis, they can still jump the Drow and wow. barely live. I, I just saw his, his health bar disappear during this leap, so I thought, oh, he must be dead. What a save there from the Bane Van score. Very clutch. Leap onto Ferev, trying to slow down this push and the melee rack is almost gone here. The glyph is eventually going to wear out. The regen's not fast enough. The melee rack goes down to one swipe from MP. She this game, making a lot of cool plays, getting some pickoffs, and just being a thorn in Flipside's side. Oh, the relocate in. They've got a Chronosphere in just one more second, but Shot Slow. He jumps in for the time block, won't be able to get the Chronosphere out. Now tries desperately, but the cold step is too much. MP, he takes out the void. And now no Chronosphere to be able to hold down that invoker means MP is just able to go straight for Roger. And flip side, they've blown some and wait for the push on bottom. Yeah, but one also sort of weakening these tier fours a little bit, so just standing around in their base, Dyer's almost taunting them, starting their dominance. And it's up, Shachel oh. immediately kills that ward, but for Rev, oh, that was a whiff there. He tried to go for the blink ball. The Tono does manage to land, but he still managed to relocate out. Bounty Hunter's down. He drops his gem. MP with the double damage tries to go for Zito, but the damage is too much. This fight inside the jungle turns well into the hands of Flipside as they catch two and going to be able to get a third now as Pylai die unable to do anything about his relocate. So Flipside destroy mission here from Roger, trying to find anybody here on the side trees, but now Flipside, they're going to be the ones who could be initiated on. is going to try and take out that ward, but it's going to be Zidoy. He's initiated on on Rev. Vanscore does manage to save him though in the pain script. That's the mistake they were looking for with the corner sphere on the two. They can go for so much more. Pylai die tethers into the Chrono Sphere. Tornado just trying to disrupt this damage as best as possible. But MP still in trouble. Pops a rage, turns and fights up against the Queen of Bane, but he had to blink up. Did one. He's the one manning up. He goes straight for Cedo with it. There's arms still up. Yule Scepter, and all of a sudden he realizes he's no longer a man fight. He can take flips like control the Invoker and bring him down mid game. They're going to go first for Roshan and Secret. Oh, they're gonna fight this one. Puff is leading the way, but Perev, he's got the double call. He's gonna be able to grab Zedoy. A sleep goes down, saving Zedoy's life, but he's already so low. He pushes them back, tries to get the distance. The heal goes down. Eventually, though, he will drop mass buybacks. Good Coming out, nice. flip side, bop, three. There's a chance they may get caught in the pit, so instead they're gonna go for a smoke and push through into the secret shop. Zedoy's sitting there. He's gonna pop the smoke, but they already managed to get the call. Attempted man's gone. He's going to make it. And Zedoy, he's gone. And already, Kronos, ooh, Kronos is actually coming back up. They actually fight this one. Kronos here into two, but Queen of Pain nowhere to be found. They get a Venus Grip onto MP, but they need some physical damage, and they just don't have it. Flipside, stop. Cold Snap on advanced score brings stop, a uh, quick stopper there. 
to the beam strip. Vanceport trying to make his way back to the tier 3 tower after sleep. But mid one catches him. Blink forward with the ice wall. 80 seconds down on two fours. And it looks like Team Live Wild may be falling as well. Dual Scepter has a blink up in a second for Ed. Unable to get the call, but the slow is still there. Mid one, the beast, a triple kill, almost gets the quad. A teammate takes it in front of him, but still. Mid one jumping forward, dominating this fight, and Team Secret going straight for the tier fours with no more buybacks left on flip side. They call it GG. Congratulations to Team Secret, who will be one of the European teams qualifying for the Dota Pit land final. Yeah, mid one really, really showing off his prowess this series, playing extremely well every game. The TA game is a little rough for Secret as a whole, and